Hello and welcome back to this course on Visio 2010. In this section we're going to start to look at themes which are a very convenient and straightforward way to give your drawings and diagrams a very professional and polished look. So let's see what themes are. Now first of all if you've used any of the other elements of the Microsoft Office suite from 2007 or 2010 you will probably have come across themes already. A theme is basically a consistent and coordinated set of elements such as fonts, fill colors, backgrounds, line shapes and effects and using themes or choosing a theme for a document, a diagram or a set of documents and diagrams gives you a consistent and professional looking feel. Now I'm going to demonstrate themes to you in just a moment but before I do themes were introduced in Visio 2007 and in Visio 2010 the themes themselves are pretty much the same but the way that they're used and the tools accompanying them to help you to choose a theme to see what it looks like in a diagram and so on before you actually apply it. These have been greatly improved in 2010 and the use of themes in Visio 2010 is much more like it is in the other elements of the Microsoft Office suite. So let's begin by looking at a pretty straightforward example of using a theme on that simple flowchart that we drew earlier on. Now in order to fully appreciate themes what I'm going to do with this straightforward flowchart is to zoom in on the flowchart first of all and then I'm going to use the cursors at the side to move most of it just over to the side of the view that you can see here. Now I now go to the design tab and within the design tab there's a big group in the middle called themes and each of these little blocks represents a theme. Now I'm going to hover over the themes that you can currently see one at a time and as I hover over them just look at the effect on the diagram. Let's start with that one and then move to the next one and the next one and so on. Now as I do that not only do you see the effect on the flowchart but as I hover over each one you can see a tooltip and the tooltip gives you a description of the theme and in fact a name for it as well so office colors simple shadow effects is the tooltip that's just under the selected theme again move to the one to the right of that adjacency colors simple shadow effects move to the next one apex colors bevel highlight effects. So the tooltips help you not only to identify a theme but give you some kind of brief description of what that theme is all about. Now at this point it might be worth just pointing out that if you can't see those tooltips it's possibly to do with the setup of your version of Visio. If you go into Backstage View and click on Options one of the options right near the top there is enable live preview in shapes window bear in mind that live preview can be switched off and apart from the color scheme we talked about these things before of course screen tip style we looked at the options show feature descriptions in screen tips don't show feature descriptions in screen tips don't show screen tips at all if you've got don't show screen tips selected you won't see those at this point if you're working through this you might want to switch them back on again just so that you can see what's happening don't show feature descriptions means that you would only see the name of each of the themes and this option gives you the the full-blown setup that I've got at the moment So let's look again at one of these themes. Let's try that one. Hover over it to preview. It's adjacency colors, simple shadow effects. You should be able to see the basic effects there. You can see the coloring. You can see how the color is slightly graded within each of the shapes. Straight lines, conventional arrows. If I move to the right to the next theme, notice some very important differences. First of all, the blocks themselves in the flowchart, the process blocks and the decision block, have got rounded corners. 
but the lines as well and all of the corners on the lines are rounded so this is a theme which gives you a much more rounded almost a sort of lozenge type of effect you should also notice as I go through two or three of these themes the font changes so again look at say the words take exam there move on to the next theme font change next one that looks like the same font but as you go through different fonts will appear so let's now look at this block here again and note here there is a more drop down arrow and if I click on the more drop down arrow I can see the full set of themes that are available with Visio 2010 by default now we've already looked at a few of these but if I hover over one or two others not only will you see color changes changes to the shapes changes to the fonts and so on but you can see a very wide range of variation in terms of colors fonts shapes and other effects such as this one that has a striped effect on the fill color now the theme that's currently applied is shown up here under this document and until I click on one of these that will be continue to be the theme that's applied so let's apply one of the themes now let's apply that stripey one click once the theme is applied and the other thing to note here which is very important is that the masters in the stencil actually take on that theme as well so from now on when you add items to the drawing from the masters in the stencils then you will be applying that new theme. Now a very important point to make here is that one of the reasons for introducing themes in the way that Microsoft have is to enable you with minimal effort to achieve a very consistent look to a whole set of documentation so if for example you're preparing a presentation and you need to do a diagram in it which you're going to use Visio for and perhaps the presentation itself you're making using PowerPoint you can very easily achieve a very consistent look to the presentation by being consistent in the themes that you use across the products if you need to include say the contents of an Excel spreadsheet again you can use the themes facility in Excel for the same reason if you're not particularly strong in the design field then if you stick to a consistent theme it will greatly help you in making good looking documentation so there we are in its very basic form that's how themes work in Visio 2010 but there's a lot more to themes than that and the first thing I want to do now is to look at one of the other diagrams we made earlier on and apply a theme to that so I'm going to go back to that org chart that we did uh, just a little while ago so if you're following this yourself just go back to it yourself and we're going to apply a theme to that now so I've zoomed in on part of the org chart I'm now going to go back to the design tab and hover over the themes as I did before let's start with that one and notice something that's very different as I hover over this one only some of the boxes change fully according to the theme now watch very carefully what happens if you look on the right there are three blocks on the right there there's the John Doe at the top yellow CEO and below that there are two name title name title blocks and the lines between them now watch what happens as I go to the right hand theme here and hover over it notice how the blocks all of the blocks take on the rounded corners similarly the lines take on the rounded corners but the fill colors do not change consistently so why is that well the simple answer to that question is that when we made that org chart we put specific fill colors into the two blocks that are that basically yellow color and by doing that for those blocks we effectively broke the theme now what I'm going to do is to explain how colors and themes work together
Now let me first of all use the more button here to look at the full gallery again and note in this current org chart we have the basic theme, basic colors, basic shadow effects used by all pages. It's if you like the starter theme. We could choose no theme and if you choose no theme watch what happens now as you hover over each of these you still have the issue that the yellow ones stay yellow but there is in effect no specific theme applied to this diagram at all let's go back to the basic one again now let's take one of these blocks let's say take this name and title block here if I right click on it I bring up the mini toolbar at the top I'm going to go back to the fill color drop down and if you look the selected color is one of the standard colors now I'll explain standard colors in just a moment but it's not one of the theme colors within a theme if you choose one of the theme colors for any item such as a block like this within a diagram if you choose a theme color for any of the objects such as a block like this in a diagram then that color will change if you change theme now let's suppose that for this one block we're going to change the color to that so what I've now got is I've got my basic theme which basically gives the coloring of these three blocks I've got this one which is colored according to a theme color and this one that's colored according to a standard color now watch what happens when I hover over the boxes note the three boxes that originally changed color still do but the one I've just recolored to a theme color also changes color it takes on a different color to them because it starts with a different theme color to them watch again as I change the theme again move one to the left colors change but the yellow one at the top John Doe CEO still is independent of the theme again change again colors change on the other four they're different colors and just to explain if I right click on one of the three original boxes look at the mini toolbar you can't see immediately that it's got a theme color but it uses the default theme color so there is also a default theme color if I went back to the fourth block here the one that I just changed the color of to a different theme color and instead for that on the fill chose use default again it looks now the same as the other three the first three but as I change theme it's back to behaving exactly like the first three because it is now using the default color now of course I could go into each of these and give it a different theme color and now I've got four differently colored boxes and watch now what happens as I hover over to change the theme each of them changes color but they change to different theme colors dependent on the theme that's chosen and the other thing to notice about each of these is it's only the color that changes if I go to a theme say with rounded boxes like that one they all take on the rounded shape but then John Doe does as well all that we've done is change the color not the shapes otherwise so there you have the basics of themes themes are a really really useful way of applying consistency across your Visio diagrams and as I said earlier of coordinating them with products of some of the other Microsoft Office Suite components in the next section we're going to look a little bit more at how colors work and in particular we're going to look at how to customize a theme so I'll see you then